Hello, my name is Winston and I'm from the lovely island, Jamaica. I have another YouTube channel where I examine the teachings of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. There are a lot of videos online that expose and criticize the Watchtower organization. You can also find a lot of videos online in which the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the subject of criticism. I am a Seventh-day Adventist. That I could criticize the Watchtower organization as much as I do begs an important question, as some folks have put it. What about the beam in your own eye? It is not only a reasonable question, but a necessary one, and it is a question that must be answered. This channel was created to provide those answers. But there is an even more important issue. Having digested lots of material online against the Adventist Church, my confidence in that church as a true church waned, so much so that I made up my mind I would never recommend the Adventist Church to anyone. Rather, I would simply teach what the Bible teaches and allow each man to make up his own mind about which church to attend. But recently, through an irony of ironies, I stumbled upon a damning criticism of the SDA Church, one that the Church fully deserves. I have now come to the firm resolve that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is indeed the remnant Church of Bible prophecy. Ironic, isn't it? I will explain in video 3. Let me hasten to explain, however, as I have always believed, and as the Adventist Church actually teaches, the Seventh-day Adventist Church holds no monopoly on sincere Christianity. There are sincere Bible-believing Christians in every church who will be saved. I happen to differ from my brothers and sisters in one belief. I do not believe the SDA Church is the one true church, but a part of that one true church. I will explain in video 4. I wish to thank a very special gentleman, Larry Wessels of Christian Answers TV, for being a major motivation to starting this channel. He has done a number of shows on the Adventist Church, including a four-part television series with a former SDA pastor, Wallace Slattery, and his wife. I also wish to make special mention of a former SDA pastor, Dale Ratzloff, who, more recently, also appeared on a show with Mr. Wessels. They have put up some apparently strong arguments against SDA beliefs and against Mrs. Ellen G. White. I wish to make it known that while mention will be made of Ellen G. White, this channel will not invest a lot of time to defend her for two main reasons. One, and this is fundamental to me, I do not believe we are called to defend any messenger of Christ, real or perceived, but to defend Christ. Whether or not you accept the writings of Ellen G. White is not essential to your salvation, so it really doesn't matter to me if you do. Two, all criticisms made of Mrs. White have already been responded to, and the responses are readily available. I see no need, therefore, to invest precious time doing that. I will discuss Ellen G. White only to the extent that such a discussion is relevant. Can the teachings of the Seventh-day Adventist Church stand up to scrutiny? Do join me as we ventilate the subject in a series of videos on this channel. In the next video, I send an open message to Mr. Larry Wessel.